Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of WTF. WTF. I'm Will. I'm Trevor, and today our special guest is my really cool, handsome brother, oh, okay. Michael. Hi everyone. <laughs> Michael Myers, actually. <laughs> yeah, yes, not to be ask. confused with the actor Michael Myers. Or the serial killer the Michael serial killer Myers. Myers. No. How much of that did you get when you were younger? A lot. I still get it. Still get it? Yeah. As of right now, we're still giving it to him. Getting it. Michael oh. actually has a big online social social media presence. Mm. Yes, so I'm on Twitter. About... You can follow me at HoganBCMJ, and I have over 9,000 followers. Wow, well yeah. done. So basically, he's kind of like a celebrity. He is. Almost. I don't even have Twitter. <laughs> You've done some reviews before. Didn't you do some reviews for like a, a magazine? I used to review uh, music. Oh, so okay. for... for her. Extra West magazine downtown, oh, yeah, which is like a gay rag, and I, the biggest thing I ever did was review like one of Sarah McLaughlin's albums, and then hey. it was on the cover of the Extra West, and oh, they, missed, awesome. they missed, they didn't spell her name right. So. <laughs> but Sarah McLaughlin, your, did they spell your name right? Yeah, well, my that's name all that really matters. Right. So anyway, today we are reviewing <laughs> Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Mm. Yay, Star Wars! Everyone's <laughs> favorite saga. Uh, um, this is obviously directed by J.J. Abrams, yep. who kind of got his start with Lost. Mm -hmm. Well, no, well, I guess Alias. 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 He was a producer yep. there. He's a producer with Lost and director of Lost did some episodes as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but uh, more famously directed Star Trek, the newer series, Mission Impossible Three, mm -hmm. and uh, Super Eight, which is actually a very underrated film. Is that the the um, based out of the eighties, kind of about a monster in the military, the alien? Oh, yeah. Spielberg and that's Spielberg. Spielberg. Yeah, it's got like a Stranger Things. Vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. it was yeah. very well done. I think very underrated. Um, and also, Force Awakens, which is the first installment of this mm -hmm. newest Star Wars trilogy. Well, uh, certain Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, yeah. Carrie Fisher, <laughs> Billy Dean Williams, uh, Adam Driver, with cameos with Harrison Ford, Carrie Russell. Carrie Fisher's daughter is in it. Is she? Oh. Yeah, she plays the girl, the blonde girl who's part of the rebellion and actually talks to her in one scene. Oh, that's her daughter. Yeah, and she, in, the, in the other it's got movies, like the, she had, she had braids, like, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's her daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm trying to remember her name right now. Mm, Something Fisher. Fisher. <laughs> no, it's not. No, because her dad is not oh, Fisher, uh, right? Um, but this movie's about the, you know, the rise of, with the, the mysterious voice of Emperor Palpatine coming up and, uh, Resistance facing the final order for the last time in the final installment of the Star Wars saga. So, what was your take on it? What, how, how, what, how did you feel after this film? I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It was uh, oh shit. It, seriously, it was entertaining. I loved it. It was you know the Force Awakens really, well considering the episodes one, two, and three were just garbage. So hey, so what? Did I you... like Force Awakens. JJ Abrams did a job. It had more action. I felt more connected to the characters. I liked. Really enjoyed the film. It was more what I was hoping to see. In a Star Wars franchise. Did you have a drink before you went to see this movie? I did not. I was sober. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not now. Yeah. Special effects were outstanding. You know, seeing Carrie Fisher for the last time. And you were okay with all that CGI? Well, honestly, it didn't being that I guess a lot of her scenes were filmed from or used from the previous film. Well, I think some of it also was from like when they were practicing doing screen tests. And totally. Stuff, so they used some of that. that so it wasn't a, as much CGI as you think. I guess they did it about as good as they could with the fact that she wasn't alive. Exactly. So I thought it was fantastic. You didn't even really notice the CGI on her. Mm -hmm. Well, I did, but I like And I do know that Disney has commissioned another trilogy where the direction, stars, how it's going to go, I don't have, there's no information on that, but there is going to be another trilogy set up. Can't wait for that. Woo! Well, none of the original cast will be alive to be <laughs> It was entertaining. It's one movie, if you are Star Wars fans, you need to see it to get your closure, I think, like Will was saying. Yes. But there, I got a lot of issues with a lot of stuff that happened within the context of the film. I felt like the whole beginning of the movie was, it almost lost me because there was, there, because they're trying to tie up all these loose ends, we're not really getting into any any story of what's happening. And then it slowly starts to pick up a little bit more. In the beginning? That. Yeah. I didn't, okay, so some of the stuff I didn't like about the fact was like, it seemed like everybody was coming back from the dead. I understand how before Luke Skywalker shows up and it's almost like a hologram of who he is. Mm -hmm. But in this one, the holograms actually have powers to, to stop mm -hmm. lightsabers from moving. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he lifts the whole X-Wing <laughs> fighter out of the water. So if all of these people that are dead have this power, what do, what do we need the new characters for? I did like, okay, so some of the stuff I did like about, I like the fact that uh, when Kylo Ren and Rey had their, like when they were having their own sort of, 
the, yeah. the astral conversation. Yeah. Yes, I like that concept, and I like the fact that they can when they were fighting, and they can take an item through. Yeah, yeah that was, was kind of cool. Which was, was he just said he didn't like that? But no, 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 no. That's different. No, I'm talking about the people who <laughs> came back from the dead. Oh, that's okay. Not, not the They're not dead. Point. Correct. Yeah, they okay. weren't dead at this point. But it, this movie really came. They they touched on New Hope. They touched on Return of the Jedi. They touched on whole different aspects of all the different films. Yeah, you know, they really came full circle. Even the end where she goes back to where Luke was raised. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that was home. a nice bookend at the end. So wait, let's get to your brother's take. Okay. Well, my my basic take, it was a bit of a mixed bag, <clears> but <throat> overall, I did quite enjoy it, mainly because it was so such an homage to Empire Strikes Back and and A New Hope. Like I, I, I to me, Empire is obviously the best Star Wars movie. Agree. And there'll never really be a movie that can touch it. But this movie, especially in the first two thirds, now you say you found that the beginning was weak. The first I, first quarter. I, I actually thought it started off really strong and 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 just took me somewhere right away, so that I was in the moment, like all the chase scenes and all yeah. that stuff going on. And it it had so much of the elements of a Star Wars movie that we love in terms of the music and just generally how it looked and felt. Um, the the tone was very really important, and this is what I feel like he fucked up in the last third of the movie for the final act. The tone was really nicely balanced up until then. There was like action scenes that really got your heart pumping. There was stuff that was about the the the, the history of of the what what's the word I'm thinking of? What you just the word to use to someone he can your buddy who edits this yeah, can yeah. come up with the word, but there's a word that describes sort of like the history of the these stories and the what origins? Happened. I'll think of it. After he chops his hand off. Yeah. Mythology. No. The word is mythology. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it did a really good job of that. So I was sitting there for the first two thirds thinking, yeah, this is a Star Wars movie. This feels like a Star Wars movie. It was Wars going movie. where you wanted it to go. Yeah, and it, and right. I, I, I liked the dark stuff the really serious dark stuff, anytime that Daisy Ridley or Adam Driver was on the screen, I was totally into it. They're both really charismatic, brilliant actors. And so all the stuff they did, but then you'd get so many hugging scenes, too many scenes where, <laughs> and, and, and like this ragtag group of rebels is just 17 people and, and they're fighting an empire that's probably Millions. Billions and yeah. billions of people. <laughs> and sometimes that just stretches it too far for me. And then, like, Leia dies and then they make, what's his name? The general of the entire rebel po. fleet. Yeah. And I'm like, well, isn't he just like a f- pilot that they found a couple movies ago? How is he now yeah. in because, charge? Because there's only 17 people. Exactly. <laughs> So that that's the disconnect. Like I wish it was just went it went to the darker sort it of stayed there. S- yeah. Sort of, and, and I get it. It's a, it's a Star Wars film, so it has to have those light moments. But I did feel like you can't you can't please everybody and throw everything into the bucket. And of course, that's what they're trying to do. And how do you please? Everybody? Yeah, how do you wrap that all together? It's pretty impossible. Uh, I know you wanted to mention something about Adam Driver. Yes, that um, I saw somebody tweeted yesterday that Adam said that he fought for Kylo Ren not to be a machine. And it was really important to him that there were moments when we could sympathize with his character. And certainly in this movie, he that's exactly what happened. I mean, I, I loved his character arc and I thought it was yeah, he's quite fitting. I just wish they didn't kiss each other. I, that part... See, there's internet people got really mad because, again... There's the, always been a little sexual tension between them throughout the film. I'm okay with that. The problem is that, you know, they waited all these years to have a female protagonist, warrior-type character. And still, in the end, she was saved by a man. Yeah, that's true. That's the bad thing, you know? And yeah. so the internet feminists are like, fuck you, J.J. Abrams. <laughs> Right? Like, that's what happened. And, and it, even with a kiss, right? Like, and he, yeah. he brought her back from the dead. So, so really, it ended up being, he's the hero, but it was her story. She yeah. was supposed to okay. be the hero. No, I guess. Right? When I remember when I was younger and I went, when we went to see, like, Star Wars, A New Hope, I just remember, and Empire, I just remember that feeling after seeing those movies. It was just so exciting. And it was like... I don't know if it's just because but I was young and young, part of and also childhood. This is the ninth film. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. been nine, and not only that, it's not even the ninth film. There's been the you know, Han Solo. There's been Rogue One. There's mm-hmm. been other yeah. films. I there's Mandalorian. But, mm-hmm. but it's 
Not new. But no. this is supposed to be the final. I get it, life. but it's not new. When you saw Star Wars yeah. and Empire, that was brand new. You'd never seen anything okay, like so that. Okay, so let me let me let me challenge you on that then. So when you when you talk about it's not brand new, what about the Avengers? But the Avengers was So there's eight million movies. The last one was at least super entertaining. Mm-hmm. Right? Like but there's only been four actual Avengers. Okay, okay well the, okay, okay. I'm not talking about the the ones that lead up to it. There's been four Avengers and and there's and a whole bunch of branch off movies and all yes, that kind of shit. Totally. Well, I'm just saying I didn't have the same sort of feeling that I was hoping to have because after I watched this, it was I was like, yeah, okay, it was all right. I wasn't yeah. like, yes, I wasn't like cheering like, oh my god. I, but like you said, it's, that same feeling. it's semi recycled material. Yeah, isn't yeah. isn't the problem that well, we'll he'll, no one will ever be able to recreate. No. The feeling that Star Wars gave us back when we were twelve, yeah. not just because we were young then, but because it was completely groundbreaking. Well, there was it. nothing like it. It opened up a whole new genre yeah. of films with these space opera films, and so no Star Wars movie is ever going to make us feel that way again. And that's why you have like millions of Star Wars fans who are always disappointed with well, these movies. You, yeah, you can't recreate. Re- it's original. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it created a whole new genre of film. And if you were actually going and expecting to have that same feeling you had leaving the original Star Wars, you were... Well, you're, fuck you, Will. I <laughs> wanted to have that feeling and I didn't get it. So I think today's appropriate rating should be lightsabers. Oh, what a great choice. Will. I know, right? Yeah. I know. Uh, do you want to try, let's start with you. Let's start with me? Okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. How does it work? It's out of 10. Out of 10. So oh. I didn't love it, so I'm basically just going to give it six lightsabers out of 10. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm. I don't. Feel... Fi- don't be afraid to give halves. We love halves. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> give it. I, I feel like I want to give the first two thirds like an eight for sure, and then maybe a seven for the final third of it, which would round it to a seven, seven and, and a half. half. Uh, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was well rounded. Gave me the ending I wanted. I don't know. Yeah, there's a few little inconsistencies and things you've never really seen or would, wouldn't expect to see, but all around a great film. Uh, I'm going to give it uh, eight. Eight lightsabers out of ten. There you go. Sounds yeah. like it went down a little bit. Oh, no. Any movies or trailers you want to talk oh, about? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, I just want to <laughs> touch on the fact because of that, um, <laughs> there are there are this other show on Netflix called The, the Toys That Made Us has yeah. to do a lot. There's, okay. a, there's a cool episode about Star Wars figures and about how they were created and how big <clears throat> it helped the phenomenon, the phenomenon of the film. Uh, that's a cool show, and there's also the one about the the movies that made us. That's yep. really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, anyway, sorry, go ahead. Uh, any, anything you want to talk about? Any trailers? Any upcoming shows? Oh, we watched. Uh, Michael told me to watch. Oh, don't cats. fuck oh, with yeah. cats. Don't don't fuck with cats is a good show. Yeah. Okay, what are you gonna watch, man? You uh, I'm watching. Well, I'm watching the. Uh, I watched The Witcher with yeah. Henry Cavill. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah. It was like Game of Thrones, but way better. With but Henry way Cavill. better. <laughs> it, well, it's just. It's that old timey dragons, myth, you know, magic, all that kind of stuff. But actual, you heard it here, better than Game of Thrones. Well, <laughs> the Witcher was good. It was all around action and violence and nudity and just a well story. Henry Cavill nude? No, oh. I know. <laughs> I won't be watching. But uh, yeah, very good show. I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, my other one's book coming out pretty soon is The Gentleman, directed by Guy Ritchie. So oh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Charlie Hunnam, oh. Hugh Grant. Charlie Hunnam is he nude? Can what about Bombshell? Anyone? No? Yeah, no, that looks great, actually. Yeah. Which I, one's I'm that? excited to see that. <clears throat> uh, I think it just came oh, out. Oh, with uh, Nicole Kidman Nicole and Kidman, yep, Charlize yeah. Theron. Yeah. And what's and Reese Witherspoon? Margot Margo Robbie. Robbie. Or Margot Robbie. Yeah. yeah. So, that actually looks really good. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Really looking forward to that. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching another episode of WTF. WTF. And uh, we will see you next time.